What is going on, Kroos? Welcome back to another video. This right here is all of my animals. It's a big update for you guys. It's been over one year since I've done a video like this. If you're just finding my channel right now, welcome. This is the PC farm. And you're about to see everything we have. Let's head on in and uh, get started. We'll start right here. This is the emu enclosure. It's a very, very large enclosure. Still has a little bit of work to do, but eventually we wanna get emus for the farm for emus for the farm. You know, things change here, so we don't know for sure, but I do want baby pterodactyls in my front yard, so hopefully that'll come soon. You know, if you're subscribed, you, you won't miss that. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. We are inside the barn now. Half the barn is used as storage right now, and the other half is used for a storm shelter. So the goats go in here if we ever have a bad storm. Over here, the first animals we are encountering in today's video. The goats. Hey everyone. I have six goats total. This right here is Boots. We got Boots, <sighs> little baby. Woo! This is King. Emmy's that pattern one right there, the brown pattern. That's Mama Goat to the left of Emmy. And then Oscar right there on the tire. Those are our six goats. Everyone that comes to the farm, this is their favorite enclosure because the goats are so personable. They love attention. Right guys? On to the next. Lady May and Mango. The two big pigs that we rescued many, many, many months ago. Years at this point. Hey buddy. This is Mango right here. Big old male pig. He's got a little bit of aggression sometimes. See? And he's very slow. He doesn't really move too fast, so it's hard to get bit, but he is a little aggressive. That's Mango. We rescued him from a house in Miami that could not take him to the new location that they were moving to. And this is Lady May right here. She was going to be bacon, and I saved her. Drove two hours in the middle of the night, picked her up, put her in the back of the truck, and drove her all the way home. And that's how we got Lady May. Right, Lady May? And now she's living a happy life. Oh, that's a good Lady May. Lady May loves me. Mango, stop. You're not smart. Move too slow for me, buddy. Now over on this side, we have what I call the family of pigs. And I call it that because they've been around the longest. This little pot of 11 pigs, Lulu included. Lulu was the start of it all. Back in the day, I used to live with the pig, Lulu. This pig right here, right, Lulu? She's such a grumpy pants now. And uh, she started pretty much the whole entire farm thing. You guys want to eat? Here. Here, bub. All those pigs. The family of pigs, 11 of them over here. Now, is there any of you out there that know every single pig's name? Daisy, I know it's Daisy and Pua. They, they both look the same. I know it's Daisy though, because she's got the comb over on her head. See the comb over? So Daisy, Pua, Buttercup, Duke, the biggest male, Duke, Baloo, Chunky Monkey, Bambi, Twisty, Rosie, Bubba, this is the dad. This is the dad right here, right Bubba? Hey Bubba, he's so friendly, he's very, very nice. This is Bubba, lived inside with him too. And then of course, the queen, Lulu. That's Lulu right there. That is all 11 pigs right there. I think I named them all, there's a lot of them. I didn't mention this yet, but every single one of these animals has a hurricane proof shelter. When I mean hurricane proof, there is seven four by fours into the ground with this thing. It is built as if you would build a home and it's very large on the inside. Lots and lots of space in here. Every single animal has their very, very own and they all match with the house color. OCD, I'm very OCD. But it makes them feel comfortable, keeps them dry, they love them. Shout out to Hector for building all those. We have also recently installed a water hose on every single enclosure. And what I mean is the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. It is the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I was looking for all you guys. I was, there's four of them. We have five free roaming chickens total. This is their little coop right here. And I know where the fifth one is. She's on the eggs. Hey, you guys are pooping a lot in here. Ooh, sitting on a bunch of eggs in there. I haven't even collected any. Now before we get into the giant fish building, which we will in just a little bit, this is a 1400 square foot building with all of our marine stuff in it. So saltwater, freshwater tanks, turtles, that stuff is all inside there. We'll get in there in just a second, but that is a massive building. We've got the ducks. What's going on ducks? Hey everyone. You know, I try to count for you. One, I count 22, 21, 21, 22. Uh, there's 20 something ducks right here. We have a lot of ducks and everyone loves the good old. <laughs> Look at all these eggs. Look at them all. There's eggs. <laughs> it's like a dang Easter hunt. There's eggs everywhere. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I found five right there. Hey, you three. 
the newest three members to the PC farm, all rescues. This one right here is a literal boar hog, but he's so friendly. He loves people. Got that from a rescue. This was also a rescue. It was gonna be eaten, literally eaten. I got this massive coon coon. And then that is also another rescue, that's Babe. So these three were just random call-ins that were like, hey, we need a place for the pig. I said yes, they came over, dropped the pig off. This was a beautiful open enclosure I had just exactly for that, to rescue some, some pigs. Here, I like to drink water out of the hose. The funniest thing ever. But this coon coon has lost so, so much weight. I mean, it's crazy the amount of weight. A lot of these pigs are fed grower feed so that they could be eaten. So that coon coon was on grower feed, the previous owner just fed, 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 fed. And thankfully, we got it before they were eaten, 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 eaten. Bacon. So a lot of people might not know, PC Farm is a rescue farm. I mean, other than the fish themselves, but a lot of these animals, I'd say a solid 85, 90% of the animals on this farm, if not almost all of them, were either bred here or we rescued them. Mimi, come here. Now this right here is Mia, right Mimi? This is my dog, the farm dog. She's very psycho, watch. Hey, hey, game's over. All right, get you, you win. Oh, anyway, that's Mia. She's cute, she's crazy though. This right here is the snapping turtle pond. As you can see, we've done landscape around it since, but I need to make him a hide. That's the next mission. I'm gonna make a really cool rock hide since we have taken this wood out of here. It wouldn't allow the water to really circulate and flow correctly. I got a new filter right here because the other one wanted to break on me. Today we are going to install this new filter for Snapping Turtle. Don't bite me, please don't bite me. This guy's aggressive. You've gotten so big, it's crazy. Look at the size of that tail. My goodness. How do I give you a size comparison? Thing is nuts. So insane how big this turtle got. Look at that. Oh, that was bad. That could have been really bad. He leaned towards me. He's got a couple goldfish that live in here with him, but he's gonna get a nice hide, filter set up, and he'll be good. Here you go, buddy. Oh! The 3600 gallon front yard pond. I can't wait to get you guys into that big pond. I tell you what, rib saw down there, there's literally everything. You just can't see. When we get into that big pond, you're gonna be mind blown what comes out of this. My baby hybrid. Little baby hybrid. Look how big the iridescent catfish are. That's an iridescent catfish down there. It's crazy, there's another one right there. They have like quadrupled in size. We got three of them. Big old peacock bass. We have a smaller peacock bass in here too. I'm not sure where he's at. Hey buddy, I see you. I see you peeping right there. There's the melanistic gar. Here buddies. Eat up everyone. Eating pellets like crazy. Thirty six hundred gallon pond. They're probably just as stoked if they knew what the heck they were about to go into next month. And that is it for the outside animals. We're about to head into the fish building where this video is just getting started. I think we are due for an update on the massive 300 gallon saltwater aquarium. Our fish are still in quarantine as you know, but they're coming back very, very soon. We're almost done. I would say within the next couple of weeks, we will get our fish back and then we can start getting some more new things, obviously quarantine and prior to putting them into this tank. This big saltwater tank is a lot of work and it costs a lot of money to keep it maintained. They come constantly to clean it. That's why it's so clean right now. It is just so, so clean. But this is just one heck of a tank right here. I mean, it's 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 beautiful. Our enemies have split into three now. There used to just be one right here and it now split into three. Look, one, two, and three. Everything else looks amazing. Our invertebrates are still in here. Obviously, other corals are doing fantastic. We got both of our conks in the back over there. Mexican turbo snails have tripled in size. Look at them, they're huge. This is gonna be back in action very shortly. Let me wake everyone up today. Let me wake everyone up. Hey everyone, good morning. New flower horn. Hey buddy, I see you hiding already. The second I walked through the door, you ran in the back. This massive building right here. We have nothing going on in this corner, so I'm not sure, and I'm not gonna say what we're gonna do because I really don't know. That, you already know, we've got the paint. Showed you yesterday. Hector makes it over here. I know he's a busy guy, so it could be even tomorrow or the following day, as much as I wanna get it done. Hector's busy. So the inside will be painted that lighter color. 
and then the outside will be a new fresh coat of jet black. Really pop these windows out. After painting, the next step will be filtration. The filtration is already purchased. It's at Rodrigo's place in New York, so we just gotta ship it from there to here. And then I gotta set it up here. So we might do something temporary, that way at least we can get the fish in. Not gonna lie to you, the filtration I bought for this pond, it's very, very high end. It does all the water changes on its own. It was thousands and thousands of dollars. I had to like take that next step for the filtration for something like this. That way, it's always crystal clear. The filtration for that is not easy to set up, so I'm gonna probably need some help with that. All I'm saying is the filtration for that is the next step after painting, whether it's temporary filter or the permanent. And I guess we'll start off right here and work our way down over to there. Mantis shrimp, as you can see, he's doing awesome. He loves his silver sides. He's only getting bigger. Right over to the side of him is our beautiful albino arowana that constantly wants to eat. Right, buddy? Oh, yeah. Let's get him some food. Holy moly, this thing is to the brim full. Silver sides. Looks like I might need a bigger freezer soon, huh? I'll let him thaw out in the back of the filter. That's how I let the fish thaw out. Hey, bud. Oh, my goodness. He ate that thing right up. Swallow it. Come on, big boy. Take her down. All right. There you go. There you go. Nice fish should come out and grab one. Oh, sweet. And then our grommy is right there. But when the lights come off, that white grommy comes out and starts hanging out. So I'm gonna turn these lights off actually, at least one side of the lights. Now we'll kind of speed run the rest of these, not speed run, but speed it up a little bit. The jellyfish are looking so, so good. Those things are crazy, moon jellies. One of the coolest jellyfish ever. I do want to get bigger and cooler jellyfish though at some point. The fly river turtle, as you can see, he's looking 10 times, I'm not sure what he's doing to be honest with you right now, but he looks 10 times better. He's got his own tank. So, so amazing, love that turtle. I do need a light for this tank. Now I have a light here. Uh, I'm not tw quite sure what the heck is wrong with this fish, I'll be quite honest with you. This has been in quarantine for weeks now. We've attempted pretty much every medication you can, even putting antibiotics in its food. And for some reason his eye just stays foggy and he continues to be really sus when the light's on. You gotta, you gotta turn the light, see look at he took off. Showing a little bit more of himself, but the other side eye is good. He's just uh, at this point a little quarantine buddy. Axolotls, of course, we all love the axolotls, as a matter of fact, yeah! Got the Axolotl PC shirt on right now, PaulCrowBrand.com, if you want some merch. I got this really cool sticker, Danger, Beware of Axolotl. Thought that was cool. And of course, all of our Axolotls are right here. As you can see, where's the other one? There he is. And I put the chest with the bubbles in here. Blue Guild Leucistic back there. We have our Golden Albino, and of course, our regular Axolotl. We need to feed them. Look, the Grommy's out. I just walked by to feed the Axolotls, and look, look, look. There he is. Hey, buddy. No longer hiding, huh? Oh. Oh. Marijuana just ate another one. But he's going to be so big. He's going to be perfect because he's going in there. Hey, Sigler, do you want to eat? Uh, one, one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay. Let's feed, uh... Let's feed the axolotls. Five brine chimp cubes going in for the axolotls. Oh, there, there you go. Oh, my gosh. He's down there. Axolotl tank, doing fantastic, per usual. Gotta put a little piece of shrimp in there. There you go, buddies. As you can see, we have a bunch of little fish in here. Of course, our starfish chocolate chip right there. There's another one right there. Coral bandit from last video. Arrow crab from last video. And I have got Olaf, our snowflake eel in here. Absolutely, almost hand trained. If No, he is hand trained. I've been feeding him out of my hand, literally. And he's so, so amazing. Love that eel. This is the new flower horn tank, our most recent video. This fish was incredible. One of the most beautiful flower horns I've ever seen in my life. Was a very, very fun video to film as well, and he's doing fantastic. He's still getting used to this tank. This is literally the next day, so he's still very, very shy. I know these videos are filmed like crazily fast. If I turn his lights off, it definitely helps, and he'll come out just like I had him following his little mirror thing yesterday. I might even take this rock out, which would then give him no other choice than to swim around and get used to this environment and comfortable. But I tell you what, that is the craziest fish in this fish room, color-wise, that's for sure. Big shout out to J4 Flower Horns for that beautiful fish. I need you to name it. I need you to name it, Kaferos. I need a lot of comments down below because this is gonna be a big name fish. I've got this little digital label maker. I'm gonna put all the names that we've named everything in the past, all on these tanks and the species that is in inside the tanks with this right here. So drop a name down below for the flower horn and she'll be typed out eventually once I get to that. African cichlid. These things are amazing. They're literally like hand trained now. They used to be terrified, now they're not. See-through 500 gallon pond, very, very cool project. We made the whole series on this. Eat up, 
They love their food. And we should probably be looking forward to seeing some babies out of these guys shortly. Especially the more they get comfortable, I'm looking forward to some babies soon. Hopping over to turtles now. This enclosure is sweet. This is our Mata Mata turtle. And he doesn't really move much, but I tell you what, I pick him up all the time and hang out with him because he's just such a beautiful turtle. Look at that. That leaf look, it's just insane. Look at the face on him. Hey, buddy, what's going on? Why don't you eat some of these? He definitely does, but why don't you walk around more and explore your surroundings? You got a big old pond and you don't even move. Let's put you under there where all the fish are. Make them poop themselves. There you go, buddy. Big old Mata Mata, and inside here is also, he loves to hide. Come here, buddy. Ugh. Our African side neck turtle. We've had this one for years, for so, so long. He's gotten so much bigger. And now he stays in here with the Mata Mata. Plenty of room to, you know, have their own areas. He loves to be on land though. He loves to be on land, right buddy? He's like, mm-hmm, I love land. This right here is the 120 gallon turtle pond. We've made some bangers with this pond right here, but I did just do a little upgrade in last video if you didn't see it. Right here, we added this little crate thing. It's just for baby turtles. I was having a problem every time I put baby turtles, like, let me grab one for you, like this little yellow belly in here. Every time I put little, little turtles like that, the bigger turtles in here were getting a little bit aggressive. Not not really, honestly, not really at all. But I could see that the little ones were not eating as much as the big ones were. We've got the UVB in the heat lamp right there. So they've got their own little basking area. And then all the bigger turtles, like this guy right here. We got a map turtle hiding back there. What else? We got Indian spotted. Such a pretty turtle. Indian spotted turtle. Oh my goodness. The little platies swimming around. The platies are all in here. This melanistic turtle that I still don't know the name exactly of. It was some long name, but... Holy moly, has it grown and got so much bigger. Check this one out too. This one we got at Blake's house. This thing is so crazy looking. Some beautiful, beautiful turtles in here. Of course, you guys know about my tailless tilapia. We've had him for so long now. He doesn't care to be held, it's really weird. But he's got no tail, and he's been living in here since he was the size of a quarter. So he likes this little concrete thing, that's why I left it. But yeah, that's that's the 120 gallon turtle pond. There's a lot more in there. There's like albino soft shell and all these random things that hide. But I tell you what, Caveros, there's a bunch of little turtles in there. It would take me all day to search through and find everything. But when we do move them all into the new thing that we're gonna build somewhere in here, because there will be something for turtles to go from baby size to medium size, and then to big size is usually my parents' backyard, which we're gonna go to here in a little bit. Anyway, there is some more fish, turtles, there's like tetras and stuff in there too, that you clearly, you know, would have to really dig through to see. Anyway, on to the next thing. This is where our baby Mata Mata used to stay, but we have now gotten a massive Mata Mata. We have put our smaller snapping turtle in here for the time being, because this guy would never get as much food as I'd like him to. I'm trying to grow these animals, you know what I'm saying? So if I was to put a lot of food in there, the big one would eat more than her, so it's easier just when they get to a certain size to separate them. Got some silver sides. I want to see if the snapping turtle wants to eat. Eat that thing right up. Heck yeah, that tastes good, don't it? I've got a bunch of artwork I'm gonna hang up around the fish building. My grandma painted that, isn't that crazy? I ordered a bunch of like UVB lights and heat lamps all in bulk. Cyber Monday. <laughs> Filter floss and so much more. But I gotta clean this corner out. This corner is uh, crazy. There's another picture that's going on the wall. My grandpa painted that one. So this corner is gonna be a big pond. I know I probably mentioned that before. I just gotta get all the junk out of it. And to be honest with you, especially with Vlogmas, haven't had time for that. And now you have seen a complete walkthrough of the massive 1,400 square foot fish building that has a lot more projects to come. And this one is the one I'm looking forward to the most. We're building a whole deck. Have I said that yet? I don't know if I said that. Anyway, yeah, a deck over the pond. It's gonna be crazy! Let's get the heck out of here. Let's go to the OG backyard where everything, where everything began. The whole channel started. My parents' house. Let's go. <laughs> hey, buddy. My mom is here to Hello. welcome us. And she has a little ferret named Flower. Hi, Flower. Hi, Bailey. Hey, big girl. Oh, yeah. Well, Caferos, this is the shed pond. This pond looks so good, it's all grown in now. Look at the lily pads. There's a whole bunch of fish in here. Mostly just the goldfish and platies and stuff. You can see the platies. There's actually two Oscars in here as well that I believe are right now currently breeding. They're currently breeding. Remember some of the videos we filmed back here? There's a mini pond here. There's like a pool pond there. Time flies, huh? Right, Mom? Time flies. We got some food though. I'm gonna walk over to the, the big old pond. How are your turtles doing, Mom? Hey, yeah. The Malaysian, here he comes. She's gonna hand feed them berries. Yep, there they go. <laughs> and see you later, bud. Because they will come up to me. That was a rough fall. All the turtles. Oh, oh flower. What happened? 
Oh my gosh. Wow, the ferret went in the fish food. Ugh. Oh my goodness. She's so troublesome. Oh, gosh, you are dude. such a little brat. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, look at all the turtles waiting to eat. So over the years, we put all of my turtles that have gotten too big into this backyard pond because they could roam free. Oh yeah, oh. wow, mom, you got the albinos hand trained. Yes, I do. All the albinos are hand trained. Look at them all. There's so many turtles in here. What do you want? He's ready to eat, mom. What do you want? Come up I'm gonna start calling you the turtle whisperer. <laughs> we have some koi fish in here. So many minnows. There's an unbelievable amount of minnows. Another Malaysian right there. As you can see, there's turtles everywhere. These exact turtles were in that 120 gallon just probably like a year and a half ago. When they get too big, I bring them here and this is where they live the rest of their life all happy. Um, these turtles just look so, so beautiful and they're getting so big, it's crazy. I got three albino red ear sliders here. You want another berry? There you go, buddy. Here we there's come. another Malaysian right here coming up behind her. Here's my voice, he knows berries. There's some berries. Come on. There he goes. It's got the little cage in here. We built all of this. And I know some of you OGs have been watching since the days before I even owned the original farm. When I lived here, you were watching. So I appreciate those and obviously everyone for watching the videos. It's crazy to be here, that's for sure. And that right there is all of my animals in one video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. It was uh, a long day of filming. I love each and every one of you so much. Make sure to check out the merch. It's top link in the description. Again, thank you all so much for allowing me to have this lifestyle and do what I do. It's truly a blessing and I appreciate you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. Smash the like button. I'll see you right back here in the next video. Peace.